So right. Katie will mute everybody. Um, here is the order of the meeting today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have our general meeting, and we'll hear from all the um, board members today. Then after the general meeting, we're going to do our bingo. And as I said to some people that were on early, uh, be patient. We're going to give this a try. We've never tried bingo online before, but we're going to give it our best shot here. So then we'll um, play a few games of bingo. Um, I've got prizes. Uh, I'll do these prizes the way I did the prizes for the October meeting. I'll uh, I'll go out on Monday and put them in the mail. I don't know when you're going to get them because of Christmas mailing, but I'll get them in the mail Monday or Tuesday. After bingo, we'll do show and share. And then after show and share, we'll um, just have uh, fun, fun knitting time. So um, that's how we'll go. So we'll go from two to four and uh, we'll go ahead and start the meeting now. So um, welcome everybody. I see some new faces and some new members. If you're new members, you can wave and we can all say hi to you mutely. <laughs> hi, hi new members, that's nice. It's nice to have some um, new faces. Um, let's see. Uh, so the first thing I wanna talk about is uh, we've had a reassignment on the board. Um, in November at the board meeting, we asked all the board members who was going to come back for their second year. And uh, Mary Fisher had said that she was not gonna come back as treasurer. Um, so I had a, um, in the meantime, after that, between that time and the December meeting, she decided that she could no longer serve as treasurer. So um, Samantha, who is our current secretary, had said that she would run in March for treasurer. So we asked her if she would just step up early um, before the meeting and become the treasurer. And she was unanimous, unanimously voted on at the board meeting to serve as treasurer. Uh, and then she'll stand for election in March. So I uh, want to thank Mary for all the hard work that you did for the months that you were treasurer. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, and to thank Samantha for stepping up and because uh, that's an awfully hard position to fill, I think, treasurer. So, um, so we certainly appreciate that you stepped up, Samantha. Um, secondly, uh, we have some member news. Uh, some of it was in the newsletter. Um, we've had a couple of uh, past members who have passed away. Um, Barbara Hibbard, and that was in the newsletter. Um, also, Pat Lackey was a former member. Her daughter reached out to us to let us know that her mother had passed away. And uh, Sandra Humberg's son, uh, Chuck has passed away as well. I think uh, he passed away from COVID. So uh, we had a couple of those in the newsletter, but um, uh, just heard from Pat Lackey's daughter and some of the older members that have been around for a while might know that. Um, let's see, I guess the most exciting news that uh, the board thinks is exciting and that we're real happy about is that we announced that for all members who are in good standing this year, meaning that your dues are paid, um, next year for 2021, uh, there'll be no dues. So, um, yay. <laughs> yay, we're glad you're excited. We were really excited about that too. Um, <clears throat> I guess the most, the thing that I would like to say um, is that we are able to do that because uh, every board stands on the shoulders of the boards that came before them. So uh, when I started in the guild, there the financial situation of the guild was not as good as it is today. And we are able to offer this really because of the past board's fiscal responsibility to get us in this position where we are now. Um, so for all those past board members, really literally for the past 10 years who have um, got us back into this, this really nice financial place that we are now, uh, we are able to, um, to do this and offer the no dues. We are asking uh, and Beth will continue to send out a form. If you have changes to address, to phone number, to email, that you please fill out the form on the month that you get it. Um, for example, when I'm sending out these prizes, I'm, I'm picking up the, the membership directory. And, and if something has changed in there, I'm, I might be mailing a prize out or emailing a prize to the wrong place. So if you could just please keep your information up to date with us at the Guild, just uh, especially now I think more than ever when when we have to 
to get to you by email or by phone or how, you know, send something in the mail. If you could just keep us apprised of any changes, that would be awesome. Um, so uh, also some good news. We asked, and um, she agreed, Joni Weisberg, uh, we asked her to serve on the nomination committee. We're getting ready for um, the March election. And uh, Joni agreed. And um, I am happy to say we have a slate already filled. So, um, right. yeah, we're so excited. We're, we're early. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, we have a, a posi uh, uh, someone for every position, including the people that are staying on the board. Um, we will put that in the next two newsletters. So January and February, we will tell you who is running for each office. And then we'll do the vote like we did last year in March. Actually, it was a little delayed last year because of um, getting kind of up and running. But um, we'll do the vote uh, online and through the email like we did last year. So, But we do have a full slate of candidates. And um, we're awfully excited about that. So um, if you still would like to run against someone, you can let Joni know or any of the board members know. But uh, just know for right now, we've got a full slate. So um, we're, we're happy about that. Um, and I think that is all that I have to say. Katie, if you wanna unmute uh, Kathy Shoma and she will talk about education. All right. There we go. Hi everyone. Hi Kathy. Um, good to see everybody here. Well, the education portion will be, um, we have a stretchy bind off that will be in the newsletter this month regarding how to get the flare out of your skirt, out of your, your scarf. And then I have another one for next month. It's called the stretchy bind off for a shawl. So that, um, that will include, you know, extra yarn for it. So you have, you have flare for the, for the bottom of the shawl. Um, I also, uh, acquired a number of crochet and knitting books from Notorious as they go out of business. I went down there once and already and, and received a lot. One of the things I found in there was some really old crochet patterns from the 40s. So um, I looked online and didn't really see them in Ravelry, probably because nobody ever put anything in Ravelry at that point. But I wrote an article uh, called The Wayback Machine. That'll also be in the newsletter. You can kind of see what, there's some styles there. You can see the styles of the wedding dresses and and the prices of the, the, the little booklets. So that's fun. Um, Notorious is closing effective today. Um, that was put out, I guess, last week by Sandy. Um, I received some needles and yarn that will be um, given to our president for sharing later, um, but I expect more coming, um, certainly not today, but maybe possibly next week. Um, so that, that was nice. She was very generous. And um, to thank her, we have bought a, a guild um, project bag for her from Land's End with the guild logo. And it's red and white, and I think it's it's got the zipper, so it's very smart. Size medium, because I think that's a real handy size to take with you. I've got the extra large, and it's way too big. So I got her a medium. And then um, I think that's all. I think that's all we have. So we have the, the online postings. We have uh, things going on uh, Instagram. And I, th I think that's all I have for now. Thanks, Kathy. Katie. <clears throat> okay, um, so just a, a quick admin VP update. Um, I'll start with Instagram because it's booming. Um, we started this Instagram page, I don't know, like six months ago, and we already have 97 followers, which I think is great. And a lot of our posts get you know, 20 plus likes and we're getting likes from people outside of the guild. So um, I think that's really great. I have a bunch of pictures that I still need to post. Um, in my line of work in the nonprofit world, the time between like Thanksgiving and the end of the year is the busiest time. So I acknowledge I'm a little bit behind in my posts, but I'm hopeful that 
as soon as I get a break, I will, I will unload many, many posts. So certainly keep Instagram busy into 2021. So, um, oh, and if you do want to follow, we are the, um, it's GSLKG. So that's what you would look up, Greater St. Louis Bitters Guild. It's um, the T in front, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's, I'm sorry, TGL, TGSLKG. Yes. I'm very bad with the letters. Um, <laughs> what else oh i just wanted to um just update everyone that i think we had mentioned this before but um we obviously did not have our luncheon this year right for the safety of everyone and we were able to negotiate with andres uh, um so that we wouldn't lose the deposit that we put down um so that that is good um, that's something that we, we finally, I've gotten the contract on. We've, we're able to still be at Andre's in 2021, um, God willing and no loss of, of money. So, um, that's for the next ad, admin VP to deal with, but at least I'm putting them in a good position. Um, and then also people have been sending me pictures, um, to post on Instagram, keep those coming. My email address is in uh, the guild directory, and you can find me on Ravelry um, at KAJ Holly. Um, and I appreciate you sending those to me, and I will make sure to send those on to Gracia as well um, when I get them. So keep them coming. I love to see them, and they'll get posted soon. And that's all I have. Vicki, does that answer your question about where to send things? Yeah, so if you, I think Katie and Gracia pretty much go back and forth. So if it goes to Katie, she gets it to Gracia and vice versa. Yeah, Gracia gets sure. it to Katie for Instagram. So Gracia's either a one. <laughs> okay, thanks, Kate. Um, and can you open up, Joan? Yes. Okay. Um, since you mentioned directory, I'll just say to the new members, if you didn't get a directory, those were sent out at the end, well, actually the beginning of November. Um, just let me know, and I have a few left. We'll send those out, and uh, that way you've got a current one. There is also a directory on our website. Um, some people don't want to have their names printed, um, so some people might be on the website, but they're not in the printed version, vice versa. So anyway, if you need one, just contact um, Joan Rangel, and I'll be happy to uh, get you a copy of that. Uh, we, we did real well with our donations. Um, since our last meeting, we received um, 109 kids hats, 28 chemo hats, one baby hat, four baby sweaters, and seven fingerless mitts. So our grand total for our hats is 3,114 hats. And those were, yay! That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, that, and that was by more than 78 guild members, uh, according to the, the sign-in sheet, and friends of the guild members, because a lot of times people will drop this off and say, oh, my friend, you know, made some of these. So I thank everybody and their friends. Um, those hats, those 3,000 plus hats are going to go or have been distributed or will be in the next few days to 44 organizations. Um, and we're going to include a list of all of them in the January newsletter. So if you want to know where they went this year, that's, that's where they're going to go. So, and, and as everybody knows, Knitted Hats is the Guild's primary charity focus. Uh, in the handbook, I think it encourages members to make one hat a month. But uh, we've also been receiving requests for scarves. So I would like to um, encourage members to knit scarves in 2021. And a couple of organizations that I know for sure will be receiving those because I think that's helpful for people to know who they're knitting for. Uh, Covenant House, who serves at um, at risk youth, that's probably putting it simply, but um, Katie is um, the person who delivers those and knows more about that organization than I do. But um, they can always use, you know, scarves and mittens and anything. I mean, hats, of course, those get distributed, but anything that's specific that we don't usually have a home for scarves would go to them. We've also been contacted by an organization called Back at You, Back and it's an at sign U, and they provide backpacks to homeless. 
So there's a group that puts together items, including scarves, and they said that they would like donations to be a minimum of six inches by 60 inches. They can be acrylic or wool. The color of yarn is earth tones, um, blue and variegated, because they're the best. They hold up best without looking dirty. And the people will wear them all the time, day in, day out. So I'll put more information about the, that organization in the newsletter too. And since there's going to be a, a program or a video, sorry, on the no flare scarf, or that part of it, so that might be something if you don't want your scarf to flare, you can practice on, on making a scarf. So, so timely. <laughs> yes. So scarves, scarves are a, a popular item again. So I think that'll be a, a focus for, for, chair, for our community service. Um, we're not having any scheduled pickup drop off times for yarn or for knitted items. But I can always be available if you want to today. We posted in the newsletter we weren't going to be at, at the libraries, but I decided I would be there today and I put that on Ravelry. Um, and I had about, well, let's see, Melba came by, Cindy Mitchell came by, um, Christine Poyer came by. Okay, who else am I missing? Um, and anyway, there were, oh, Jack, um, Gene Rosenthal came by, G Rosenfeld came by. So we had about six people that came to drop off, you know, a dozen hats, six hats. So it, it was nice to see people again, even though you can only see their eyes. It, it was nice to be able to see people. But um, I just want to let everybody know, I you can drop them off um, with me or pick up yarn if you need yarn. Just get in touch with me and we'll we'll figure out a, a an agreeable location and date. I live in South County. I work in West County. Um, just a little bit Mason Road, just a little bit west of 270. I can always meet people at the headquarters library. So um, we can make arrangements to get more yarn if our supply is getting low and use some of the guild funds, I think, for that. We approve that so that we can have nice yarn for our knitted projects. So I think that's all I have. Okay, thanks, Joan. Katie, can you open Mary? Yes. Hello, Mary. Um, don't have a whole bunch to talk about right now. On Facebook, we have 396 members. So we're four people short of 400 people. So if you know four people that aren't on Facebook, encourage them to get on our Facebook group because that would be a nice round number. Um, of the 396 people, 324 people are active members. That means those people are posting and reading the posts that are out there on the group. So we have a few people that are maybe not on Facebook so much anymore, but um, po but the good news is posts were up 36% this week, or this month, I'm sorry, this month. So people are posting more and I would encourage you, this is a great way to, uh, this is also a good place to put your finished objects. You will get many oohs and ahs. You will get, in fact, approximately 396 oohs and ahs, perhaps, <laughs> if you if you post on Facebook. So um, I encourage you to do that as well. Um, YouTube, we are we're we only have 34 subscribers because we have a lot of lurkers on YouTube, people that are not actually subscribing, which is fine if you don't want to subscribe subscribe to our channel on YouTube, but then you miss the marvelous benefit of being able to get notifications when a new awesome video comes out that you really didn't even know you needed to see, but you really need to see as soon as possible. Um, so if you, if you subscribe, uh, you, can, you can go ahead and get notifications as well and know when new stuff is out. And I'm gonna put a little video, I, I think I sent it to you, Sue, already to look at. Yeah, um, but I've got a little video just in case you weren't sure how to subscribe to YouTube and all you've been doing is clicking on them little boxes on those little links to the videos. That's fine. You can continue to do that. But if you really wanted to subscribe because you want to be the first possible person to see those videos as soon as they come out because you get notifications, um, you can subscribe and get notifications. It's just a short video. I think it's only it's not even a minute long. And that's exactly how long it takes. And if it takes you a little longer, you can play it many times. Nobody will ever know if you played it 10 times to, to get the two minutes worth of work done, that's okay. 
the computer doesn't mind. It will keep playing it for you as many times as you want. Um, good news too, um, our views on YouTube are up over 400%. That's four times as many as we had last month. Um, oddly enough, and I, I would like to ask this question, but all of you are muted. So only <laughs> like two people can answer. Any, any guesses to what the most popular video out there is? Is it our meetings? It's the our meeting. Plastic bags. Uh, <laughs> the plastic bags come in second, but the meetings are actually the number one video out there. So that might not be as much interest to those of us who participate in the video to begin with. So you may not want to go back out and watch what you just went and did, but that's cool because there's a, a lot of people that can't necessarily make the meeting or are uncomfortable with the Zoom format or whatever and they at least get to feel like they're part of our group. Um, so that's, I thought that was kind of, I thought that was kind of awesome. Also, also our watch time on YouTube is up by 275%. So when people were first finding things, they might look at something for 30 seconds and go away, but now they're actually watching entire episodes and not just like shopping around a little bit. Awesome. Um, I think that's all I've got to say. And I will probably drop off here. I've got some things I got to do this afternoon. But if you have any questions for me, feel free to email me. Obviously, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm in the directory. You can call me, email me, whatever. And uh, happy holiday to everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Thanks, Mary. Katie, can you open Samantha? Yes. Okay, hello. Um, so I just want to report our finances. So for the month of November, our beginning balance was $19,438.27. Um, we've had a flurry of activity with uh, dues. Thank you very much. Uh, on for November, it was $211.50. Um, and then our uh, expenses are our, our mainly, uh, the monthly expense is mainly the Zoom meeting, um, which costs us $14.99. And then uh, we had the membership directory printing and postage. And so that was $711.55. And so our ending balance for November was $18,923.23. Uh, any any questions about about that? We'll we'll start getting those back in the newsletters as well. So starting with January, we, we wanted to, Samantha to be able to get get her feet under her and then not <laughs> not uh, it'd be, she she had the files and I and I dropped the files off. I had no idea there's three or four boxes of files, so she had quite a bit to look through and, and to get acclimated with so um but we're i think she's ready to go and we'll start having the statements again in the newsletter so okay uh katie you want to start going through and unmuting everybody yes so uh if everybody wants to take the time to get out your um your bingo cards and whatever you've got to cover up your your words and I'll stop recording for bingo. We're gonna not record the, the bingo portion of the meeting. We'll hit record again for show and share, and then we'll turn the record off again for um, just when everybody's just sitting around knitting, so. Tony, do you have a red uh, box in the lower some, right hand corner that says something. leave? No, it's, it's fine. I can't start it. My, something's wrong with my touch screen. Oh. oh, there I we go. Oh, there there you are. are. I see you. I see you. Oh, but you're see you now. Sure. There okay. you are. Well, now it came up. I don't know what's going on. 
Well, while it's up, I was having some problems the there. First. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go through how everyone appears on my screen and just call on people. If you have something to show and share, go ahead and do it. If not, just let me know. Okay, mom, you're the first person on my screen. Do you have anything for show and share? What about you? I don't have anything. I'm working oh. on a hat that's barely even started. Okay. So I decided, of course, the week before Thanksgiving that everybody in my family should have a hat. So that's 13 people. I've done 10. None of them are, are I haven't done the finishing on any of them yet. Everybody has a different pattern and a different yarn. Hmm. <laughs> and none are the same. They're all different. And some of them are going to get pom-poms. And some of them are for men and they aren't. And I, I've got three more to do, and I don't even know how many days. Don't tell me. <laughs> nine. And this, hush. Nine uh, days. Well, that's pretty. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I've been just doing hats. I've got one on the needles. I actually have two on the needles. I am probably not going to do Katie's and just give her the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> and so there you go. Have, Merry Christmas, Kate. And uh, we have one person that won't be here. So for the picture, she can wear that person's hat and pretend it was hers. And um, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm working on hats, but poorly. That's what I'm working on. Uh, Samantha, you're next. Do you have anything? Uh, well, it's not anything uh, I'm swatching. Um, so I'm taking a, a uh, Farah class. And so it, there's my little swatch. I'm just trying to decide on colors. Oops. Pretty. Very, Very nice. nice. Very so, pretty. Thanks. Anita, do you have anything? So everything I had, I've already mailed away, but I have a picture of something I gave as a gift this year. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, yeah. Wow. Pretty yeah. socks. Cool. Socks, yeah. What yeah, pattern? Those were kind of fun, and so they both have faces on them. Like maybe it's better uh, that way. Oh yeah, yeah. Cute. But everything cute. else is either pictures or gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary Fisher, do you have anything? I just finished. Um, oh man, this is terrible. I just finished this square. Um, it's the first square of thirty-five for a baby blanket. It's called Graphic. G-R-A-P-H-I-C. It's a paid pattern, but it's a mitered square. And there's, I have seven colors of the tips, seven different colors. So with, it'll be five by seven, I guess. Oh, nice. We'll, nice. See. we'll see, but anyway, it's something I can actually do and finish. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Linda, do you have anything? Hi, Linda, um, or there's two of us. Which one? Linda Wicks. Oh, I do not have anything to show. Okay, Joni? I have nothing new to show. Okay, Kathy, show them loud. Um, I'm working on what I call the big guy socks. <laughs> uh, if, any, if anybody knows my husband, um, can you see those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a Schlockenmeyer Regia, and it's going to be a 10-inch cuff with a 14-inch foot. <laughs> so I should be done with these next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. so they're striping up nicely, so I like that. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, that looks really good. Gerda, do you have anything? Uh, hold on, yeah. I have... Um... It's a very simple uh, cowl. It's Schoppenwolle. The 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 um, the yarn does. It's I mean does the pattern basically. It's just stuck in that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So it's close to the neck. What's the pattern? Uh, oh, it's, you just made it up. It's yeah yeah. It's ambiente. That's the ambiente. Um, the yarn is called Ambiente by Schoppenwolle in, I just cast on 106 stitches, uh, ripped ripped the first uh, three rows uh, to purl to, and then just stuck in it and yeah. did the ripping again on the top. I like one skein. to the neck. I think that's cool. It, it's a close to the neck thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. Very nice, very warm. For you, Gerda? Hmm? For you? Yeah. Goes, yeah. goes with this hat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Vicki, do you have anything to show and share? Yep. Can you see my screen? Yeah. No, let me see. I have to find you. Oh, here, yeah. see you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the one on the left. No, are you what? trying to share your screen, Vicki? I, yeah. I can't see hey. it. We just see you. Hmm. Well. I think Katie, I sent you the photos. Yeah, let me see if I can pull it up and share my screen. Give me one. I wonder why I can't share. It's because she well, the host has to allow you to. If you make her a co-host. Oh, well, if the host allowed me, you could see. <laughs> I can, I'm, I'll pull up your email. Because okay. that, that is something I know how to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, then I'll close All right. those down. Zoom, and I'm going to share my screen. All right. Can you see that? Yep. Yes. Yep. There oh, she is. Okay. No. Okay. Which, which one do you see? Now you I see lost the, the blue one. Okay. The blue one is that second Sunshine Coast that I did, and it's uh, it's the silky wool, and I did make it just like a couple of stitches a little smaller than the other one that I did with the stripes that was in the newsletter. Yeah. And I also, again, um, eliminated the yarn overs. And I did eliminate a couple of the body increases so that it was a little straighter. It looks good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it fits well. Nice. Thanks. Let yeah. me click on your other one. Very pretty. Okay. Hold on there. Can everyone see that one too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, something's okay. wrong with my computer, I think. Oh, okay. So you needed three right. of those now? Two. Just two. What? No, it's the other one. You had a striped one, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was Sunshine Coast. The other one. Oh, this is a different pattern? This is one called Textured Pullover. Oh. <clears throat> and it's made of, uh, what did I say, Barocco, Barocco Vintage Chunky. Oh. And it, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but <clears throat> the, the colored stripes are one's navy and one's black. So it works with mm. the two colors of pants I have in my closet, jeans <laughs> and black. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's real heavy, so it's a real nice uh, winter weight. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Now it's showing. Oh, gee. <laughs> There you go. You're you're up again. Okay. So I stopped sharing. So now I've got Susan. Do you have anything for show and share? Um, yeah, just a couple things. I have a couple of bears here oh, that I made. I have to, I have to put faces on them, but oh. I have the little bears. So oh, they're cute. so cute. Yeah. And then I've got just a bunch of hats that I've done. Um, I wasn't able to get them to you guys this month, but I have a lot of little hats waiting here. So that's, that's what I've been working on. Hats and hats and hats. <laughs> well, can you show your bear again? This is the, oh, the mother bear project. So the uh, mother bear, basically she has a, um, a, a pattern that you buy for $5 and it's really easy to put together. And then you mail these to her in, I believe she's in Minnesota and then they, um, they sew little hearts on them and then they send them to children in Africa. So that's always a nice thing that um, they, you know, get little, little bears. So I just have to put faces on them and send them. So that's really cute. Okay. Radhika, do you have anything to show and share? Yeah. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. awesome. It's uh, Radhika. I go Radhika. by Brad. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, I am trying to make a sweater for my sister. So I don't know if you guys Oh yeah. Ready? Oh, pretty. It's in um, you know, like knit in pieces. So this is the back piece. I'm working on the front piece right now and then come the sleeves and I'm also working on the beekeeper uh the beekeeper's quilt, you know, yeah. knitting these and putting it together. So yeah. 
I, I recently went through like cancer and divorce and all that. So I've been putting my hopes, wishes in each one of these and praying and kind of trying to make a quilt for my new house, hopefully. So. Oh, that's really nice. Well, it's a good start. Yeah. This is your uh, first meeting as well, right? Yeah. Yes, welcome. Uh, welcome. You. welcome. Glad you're here. <laughs> well, welcome and blessings to you. Thank you so much. Okay, Jackie, Jackie Landau. Yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Well, I did some top down socks that I'm finishing the toe on them. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. These were self striping. So I didn't do all this fancy stuff. But anyway, I'm finishing this. This is one of Georgia's patterns. I took a sock class from her. I'm really kind of a beginning knitter, except that I can do socks. So uh, <laughs> You want to finish off? You want to finish off my big guy socks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kathy's outsourcing her knitting. <laughs> He's only been wanting these for a year. <laughs> Nini, do you have anything to show and share? No, no, not today. Okay, wow. Diane. Oh uh, yeah, I'm um making little dish cloths as Christmas gifts for um. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it's a little girl with flowers Yeah. for my traveling buddies. I've already sent the green one to my friend in Tulsa. And then I've got a, um, my one friend likes lighthouses. And, um, and then I made this little leaf one, but it's real little. But, um, but I got way late a little bit because I fell off an exercise ball this week and sprained both my wrists. So oh, no. why they're healing, wow. I'm not doing a whole Oh my life. gosh. That's why I don't exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get hurt, it's trying to keep fit. So <laughs> I that's, that's, about worst, it. that's the worst thing that could happen to a knitter is to not have your wrists. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but they're healing. That's <laughs> how are you how are you doing now, Diane? Oh, oh, good. Um, Monday Much when I better? did it, yeah, it hurt a lot, and um, now oh, they're yeah. they're doing a lot better. But I'm kind of resting them for a week just to make sure I don't re-injure anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. gosh, but it's a good excuse not to cook. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> or have to get on an exercise. <laughs> uh, Julie, do you have anything to show and share? No. Okay. Uh, Margie, do you have anything to show and share? Um, I'm still on the same sock. This is made out of one of uh, Vicky's, um, um, oh, I forgot. The thing that's already pre-knitted. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And, oh, the blanks. Um, the blanks. I got what about blanks? two inches into it, pulling the yarn out, on, and it was curly, and I could not handle it anymore. So I ripped all that out, and I have... Um, rewound it and it's all straight and lovely. <laughs> it was beautiful. Uh, my husband commented he liked it. It is fall colors. It was a background with fall colored leaves, orange and green and a kind of a gold, which I don't imagine. Well, there. Yeah, we see it. Oh, oh great. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. So I was hoping to get them done by Thanksgiving, but um, I got hung up on, I decided to do the I am partridge heel and I got hung up on the, that. And I probably did it four or five times and finally got it right. <laughs> okay, Joan Wrangle, anything? No, I don't have anything. I just finished a couple of hats, but they're they're been given away. Nice, Lee. Anything? Oh yeah, I have two things. Uh, I finished a hat. Pom pom on it. My nice. uh, my ice skater coach says that when I'm skating, I should have a hat with a pom pom on it in case I fall. It would protect <laughs> my head. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. And then. Some, some socks that have been years in the making. We have all got socks going here. What's going on? It's winter. It's cold, yeah. <laughs> cold feet. Those are pretty. 
Okay, Laura, anything? Yeah, I'm working on a stocking cap for my niece, only it's dark purple. I don't know if you can see very much of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. yep. That's as hard as working on black. I can hardly, you know, <laughs> differentiate. But yeah, that's what she wants, a stocking cap out of purple. So. That's pretty. Thanks. Linda Campbell. Well, I just have something really little. <laughs> My daughter-in-law wanted knitted ornaments for her tree, so I've been knitting tiny little oh, babies. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that's so cute. That, that's all I have finished right now. Alice, do you have anything? Working on sock. <laughs> nice. This is uh, Christmas coloring. I don't know if it's it's probably not going to show worth a darn. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it looks it looks good. And, um, I'm doing the Hermione's, you know, because I like that top. The yarn is I bought it when I was down in uh, Texas from Lone Star Farm Handler Handcrafted Lone Star Farm Handcrafted is the name of the dyer. You know, there was a trunk show the, on Small Business Saturday at the local yarn shop. So I had to make a purchase, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. Um, May, do you have anything? Yeah. I've been working on this. Oh, wow. Nice. This is, uh, Ooh, pretty. This is a... Uh, test knit with the butterfly honeycomb and cables but she has six kids so she hasn't gotten the rest of the pattern to us <laughs> and i had to stop because i had to do eight christmas stockings and when we started the meeting i was blocking the last three okay <laughs> those are all for orders and then i have one more to make but the baby's not going to be born until March. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, Jade, do you have anything? Um, just two little things. One, well, yeah, a hat, toddler size. Cute. And another bib, cotton yarn. My hands hurt sometimes after I knit with cotton yarn for a while. And I'm starting another green hat, the same as the pink. Oh, cute. So charity all. Uh, Lori, do you have anything? Uh, yes, I'm doing a um, knit picks stocking cap pattern. Um, oh, oh, cute. cute. Oh, this cute. Is my last one. I did uh, four. Well, actually, one was kind of a half pattern. It, that's a long story. But anyhow, this is the finished one. Um, if you can see that from the oh. back. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. cute. Oh, so cute. That's, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm done with my hats, I think, for a while. <laughs> then I'll start are, on socks, people. <laughs> are you burned out on hats, on baby hats yet? I've been making a lot, yes. <laughs> yeah. I think my request, this is the end of the request. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Teresa, do you have anything to show and share? I have a ongoing project here that's not finished. Is that OK? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, it's also purple, but it's a sweater. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, in there with the. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. yeah. Nice Beautiful. design. It's called the Abbey Hill um, on Ravelry, but I'm on the sleeves, so it's not too much longer, hopefully. What's wow. the name of the pattern? Abbey Hill. A B B E Y H I L L, all one word. Abby Hill. I cannot pronounce the name of the author of the creator, but it's it'll come up if you put that into Ravelry. That's pretty. And I like the color. It's one actually. I'm doing um, one of the. Uh, okay, what's Mary's last name? No, Anne. Anne Conzen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a. Uh, Today was the last session. It's a class knit along, basically. And um, so that kind of kept me going on it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd probably still be back on the body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Eileen, do you have anything? To oh, sorry, go ahead. Teresa, do you have something else? No, that's it. Okay. Eileen, do you have anything to show? <coughs> yes, huh. I do. I finished this shawl. Oh, it's, beautiful. It's Somebody else from the guild did one of these about two years ago. It's called Wrapped from the Wrapped for the Holidays. And it caught my eye. I kind of liked those candy canes in it. Uh -huh. oh, and this yeah. was my yeah. first experiencing experience putting uh, beads on it. Looks which nice. worked out quite nice. well. Yeah. Beautiful. It was a lot of fun. Really so I'm just eager to have a place to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why we're all making socks. We know where we're going to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> it'll happen. It'll happen. I know. Yeah, I, yep. I can't wait. I can't wait to get in line for this vaccine. I know. Yay. <laughs> uh, Gracia, do you have anything to show and share? Oh, oh, you're hard on a cape, a capelet for my daughter. And it's, it's being shipped off to her now. So I hope to have a picture of it in she, her in it in the next newsletter the following. Oh, excellent. That so great. it's pretty interesting. It was a lot of stitches. So. <laughs> well, I can't it's wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's got to feel good to be done with too and shipped off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now there was a lot of stitches. <laughs> Harris, do you have anything to show and share? Okay. Colleen, anything to show and share? I wasn't, <laughs> I'm not going to strip and change my shirt real fast, but <laughs> it's a little better. This is the trellis top. Now, I don't know if you can see the pattern in there. Yeah. But this, um, I have, hang on. It's uh, from Carol Feller. And I have all my notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. But it's open here and it's applied I cord. To make oh, the button nice. loops, the whole thing around looks better with the white shirt and everything else. But you, oh, see the beautiful, it's nice, very soft, and that's it. That's pretty, Colleen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Chelsea, do you have anything to show and share? Um, I am one of those people who always has at least like four projects going <laughs> at one time. <laughs> Um, so I'm very nearly done with this oh, shawl. Wow. It is, I can't remember the name. I think it's like winter solstice or something like that. Um, I also am knitting little teeny tiny Christmas sweater ornaments for her family. Um, oh. and, um, I have been working on these mitts for my husband. Oh, wow. This wow. is just one cool. oh. finished nut hatch mitt because wow. he's a bird watcher. Oh, that's cool. sweet. And then my biggest project that I'm trying to finish for myself before Christmas is oh, the Birkin oh, sweater. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you. Wow. So I oh. got. I'm almost finished with the body and I still have to do the sleeves. So it's going to be a race to the finish. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank um, you. Melba Holly, Miss Melba. Greg, you had me follow that. Good, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, Melba. I think. Melba I just lost. That's all I have. Oh, those are I cute. Just have, but you know what? This is your and I died. I was going to ask wow. what the was. Melba. You remember that sock blank we died at Gateway? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This, really this pretty. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. That's all I got. Hi, Alice. Hi, Miss Melba. <laughs> uh, Sharon, do you have anything to show and share? Well, I do, but it's kind of a mistake. I'll, I'll show you. Um, I don't know. It may not show up. Anyway, it's a woven cable headband that I was making for my granddaughter. And I should be done by now because I've done all the rows that it says. But then I realized I took the wrong needle and started with a five instead of an eight. Oh, so, 
It's supposed to be 18 by four, and it's going to be like three and a quarter. I'll get the 18, but I'm doing a lot more stitches. So it's going to be a lot tighter. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but that's what I'm working on. I, I can't, I don't believe you can see the cables, but. You can see them a little bit. I like the color. Yeah, it's a navy with a, a fleck of a can in it. Yeah, that's pretty. But anyway, I'm disappointed that I did that. I'm looking through. I think I got everyone, but if I didn't get you, sh shout out. Riola was here. Yeah, I think I, Riola might have dropped off. I, yeah, I okay. saw her, but I don't oh. see her anymore. I'll show my one I started yesterday, which is um, an octopus garden. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a crescent, kind of a crescent shaped, uh, a little over five feet wide. And it's using uh, two different co colors of that Noro Ito yarn, which is a worsted weight. Nice. So one's a little brighter and the other's a little more muted. But so far, I'm liking it. And hopefully, I can get it done quickly. OK. All right. Well, then I'm going to stop recording. Boop. Okay.